In this video, we show you how to download Windows Steam games onto your Mac. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. We really do appreciate it and let's get right into this guide. Here we are on my Mac and let's get right into this guide. So the first thing you do need to actually do is go and open up a web browser. Personally, I use Google Chrome, but you can use any browser you would like and then just go to a search engine. Now, what you need to do is actually go and search for something called NVIDIA GeForce Now. Now, do keep watching. I'm going to fully explain what NVIDIA GeForce Now is. Now, do make sure you go to the official website, which is um, NVIDIA.com. Um, but there may be some fake websites out there. So make sure you go to the real one. So what NVIDIA GeForce Now actually is, is something called cloud gaming. So how this works is, is that you have the NVIDIA application on your Mac and with this application, you go and connect to an NVIDIA server where the game is basically ran on a Windows computer. So then all you can do is use your mouse and keyboard as you usually would on your Mac. And then that's going to go and connect to the server and you can play it remotely um, and it works really well. So all you want to do is go and tap on join now in the top right. And as you can see, there are a few different packages you can go and choose from. Um, there is free priority in the RTX 3080 one. For this guide, you can just go and use the free version. It works absolutely fine. You get some free um, session and gaming time. Um, so you can go and test it out. And maybe if you like it, you can go and get a subscription because it's relatively cheap um, for the benefits you go and get and of course you are going to need to go and create or log into a video account if you already have one but it's a really easy process all you need to do is enter an email and a password then all you need to do is go and download the nvidia geforce now application now all downloads are going to appear in different places depending upon which browser you're using um, so if you're using chrome they're going to appear in the bottom left i think in safari it's the top right um, but you can just go and open up your finder and go and look in the downloads folder and you're going to find them all there and then once it's finished downloading go and find it and go and tap on it and go and run it as you can see, Mac will do a few things like verifying it and things like that. And then all you need to do is go and drag it into the applications folder. It's going to pop up. It's really clear on how to do things. And it may take a moment or two for it to go and transfer. Then we can go and close off everything. And what you need to do is go and launch your launch pad. Um, and you can then go and scroll across and find NVIDIA GeForce Now. And it will give you a brief introduction, but you want to go to the top right and go and tap login. And then you can go and connect your account. What's going to happen is the browser will open and you can go and really easily connect your account. And it's going to say you are now logged in. And then once you're logged in, what you want to do is go and tap on the menu button in the top left. And as you can see, there's an option for settings. And then in your settings menu, there's going to be um, a section for connections. And then all you want to do is go and connect your Steam account. And it's really easy to go and connect your account. When you go and tap connect, Steam will open and you can go and create a link. And then you can go and view your Steam games in the game section. You can go and search for them and see which ones are available. Not all of them may be available, but a lot of them will be. I think there's over a thousand games available in GeForce Now, so a lot of them will be. And that's literally it, guys. And then all you need to do is find the game you want to go and join. And um, GeForce Now is going to go and analyze your networks, so make sure your connection is good enough. And when GeForce Now is analyzing your network, Network. even if it does fail it should be absolutely fine mine's failed before and i've still had a good connection had a good gaming experience but yeah i hope you can go and enjoy your game on your mac it's honestly such a great way if you found this video useful please go down below and consider leaving a like peace